Hey guys, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor and I woke up with a sexy voice. So I've kind of had a little bit of a sore throat. Yeah, I woke up like this. Hopefully you don't mind. Now, I do want to point out that it is a mess behind me because we are getting hardwood floors installed. So kind of to walk you through it, if you haven't seen any videos of my house, it is living room, dining room, kitchen, all one long open area. They had hardwood floors in the kitchen and the dining room, but they had carpet in the living room that really needed to go. So after a lot of debate, we decided we just wanted to continue the hardwood floors. In every house that we've lived in, we've had hardwood floors. I know engineered, laminate, LVP, luxury vinyl planks, whatever you wanna call it. I know that's really popular right now and really trending, but you can't go wrong with a wood floor. We already had wood floors in half of the space that we were looking at doing. So we did hardwood floors. We just basically, what do you even call it in? Not splice it in, fingered it in, whatever. So it, it'll blend to the wood floors that are currently in there. And then we did the master bedroom and the closet. And the reason that we did that, kind of the same thing, the carpet needed to go. And how our house is laid out, the master bedroom is pretty much off of the kitchen. And so a lot of people, more than just my husband and I, use that restroom, um, even though we try to get the kids to use the kid restroom. There's a lot of traffic right there and the carpet is just really matted down. And we put our bed in the same spot that the previous owners put their bed and basically around the bed is all matted as well. So we put, they're already in hardwoods in the living room, master bedroom and master closet. And then this weekend, they are going to start stain, staining, well, sanding, staining, sealing. So I've had a debate over on Instagram and Facebook about which color stain to go with. Basically, we could do all natural with just putting the sealer on it. And the guy that I use, he has a full-time job doing flooring, and then he does flooring on the side um, for his own jobs on some weekends. So that's why it's a, been a weekend job. He uses a water-based sealer because if you work with furniture very often, you know that when you seal something with polyurethane, it yellows. Like I've done lots of videos and blog posts about sealing your chippy white stuff or anything that's light colored paint because you need to use polyacrylic or uh, water-based poly or water-based sealer so that it doesn't yellow. Because otherwise, if you put polyurethane over a chippy white architectural salvage piece, a corbel or something, that is going to get a yellow film on it. It could be the next day, it could be months down the road, um, but it will yellow. Our floors, if we went with the natural, would look like what they did in the pictures I shared them. And then my mom just got her wood floors done here in the last few years and she still had some stain left over and I think it was early American. So we just decided we're only gonna pick between those two. There are 50 million stains to pick from and so we didn't wanna have too many choices. So we just did this one, the sealer, which is light, no stain, natural, or this uh, stain that my mom had already taken time to, to pick out. Now, on the first, or on two houses, I shouldn't say first two. Yeah, I guess they are our first two houses that we lived in as a married couple. They had hardwood floors and we refinished both of those, the hardwood floors in those houses. This time, however, at 45, I am not as motivated to save money and do it by myself. So we hired help this time. I'm super excited. I feel very stressed on picking the right color, but I really think no matter what I pick, we will like. Now, that being said, we're gonna go with what I picked. Hubby picked the other choice. But that is the reason it is like in a lot of my videos lately, it's like a, a disaster zone behind me because we pulled out everything from the master closet, everything from the master bedroom. I cleaned off all of my counters and knickknack crap off the kitchen uh, counters, the dining room stuff, the living room stuff. It is all crammed down here in the basement, which already had <laughs> plenty of stuff in it. So ignore all that. I did Hello Iowa yesterday, and after that, I went to the Picker Nose, which I have not gone to the Picker Nose 
in a long time. So when I moved up to Ankeny from Little Centerville, I thought, oh, I will go all the time. I will be a shopping addict and blah, blah, blah. And I limit myself to going once a week for the most part. And a lot of times I do not go down south to where the picker nose is, but I sat, decided to today since I did Hello Iowa and I was already pretty much right there. I spent $64.75. Now I am a reseller, all this stuff is for sale. So when I say $64.75, that is with no tax. So let's see what I got for $64.75. So this stuff over here, I've been sharing in stories. I do a monthly Facebook Live sale, and then I sell stuff in stories a lot, and I put stuff on my website at thejunkparlor.com, so you can check all that out. Seeing my thighs like this, it's just funny to me because I just saw a meme the other day, and it was like showing a picture of a girl's thigh sitting in a, ch in a car like this, and then her boyfriend's was like, you know, a third of her width. So... If you know, you know. This piece doesn't look the best on the top, but I love the leather handle and it just looks like a great case. So I've sold a lot of black suitcases and I think this would look great sitting on top of that. So we'll see if the girl that made the purchases from me already would be interested. And then look at the inside color. I mean, how is the lighting? Are you able to see that? Probably it's easier to see on the lid. It is like a red velvet. So this probably had like a, a video player in it, a film, something. So it's divided. All you gotta do is vacuum this out. You can use it for storage. It is nice that the top or the front flips down. So really, you could set up a whole little vignette in here, have the lid leaning, or even chain it so that it will stay open on its own. But I just love this box, and it was such a great price, I couldn't go wrong. This box I used to hold all the other smalls that I got, and I really think it was an old seed box or um, for tea for tea or something. It is marked, so we'll have to look at the bottom of that, but I think somebody just covered it in like burlap, and then this is not electrical tape, but it's some, I don't know, scraps of leather maybe? Okay, so you saw me take out of the little film box. We have a standard stamp holder. I like this one. I, I'm thinking maybe it was a double, um, had another one of these here, but that's gone if that was the case. But I like that it's taller. You can put like um, wooden mashers in here, which I should see if I have one. It appears I've sold all of my mashers, but I grabbed this rolling pin to see if I could show you. So the nice thing is, is that like when it has a longer, is taller, whatever you want to call that, you have a little more flexibility in what you use to display on it. So like a wooden masher fits in here nicely, paint brushes, um, ink bottles. You could even do this whisk broom. I might have to adjust it a little bit so that it's not touching, but a small whisk broom would even fit in there. So you can use this as a way to display different collections. So I haven't researched this yet, but see how it says cast toys? And the inside is like this green paper. I always feel like they're like that um, when they're seed boxes. And I, I'm, I'm looking here because my memory, the reason I thought somebody covered this was because I thought I saw some green paper peeking through, but maybe not. So anyway, we'll see what Cast Toys says. I did get this double mirror. It is a jewel light, I think is what it says here. So it's like a clean, a clear pink. I don't know if you can see the pink on there. It's a beveled. It's not like perfect condition on this side, but I don't care. And I know I've explained this with some wooden hand mirrors, but you can put a cloche right here, leave it flat and put a cloche right there on the mirror. It reflects light. It just makes whatever you're putting under the cloche pop even more. I don't know why I really liked this little brass leaf dish. It was $5, the sticker's still on there. It says, bo, 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 voila, voil by 
Cadbrun or something like that. It says solid brass. But I thought this would be cute sitting in the entryway. You can throw your keys in it. You could have it by the sink and put a bar of soap in it. You could put your scrubby brush in it, put your rings in it. But I just, it just called my name. Avon little Christmas bottles I will buy. So the Christmas tree, I just sold one of those. These candles normally sell well, well the little Santa. Other Avon bottles, not so much. I grabbed a bait, um, bait box green so of course I love that and then I have a girl who really collects these and so I think that she might like this one these would have gone on a belt and kept your bait in there I have some unframed watercolors and I was thinking that hanging them with um, an old pant hanger would would be good and then I'm gonna sell them together but I just loved the look of this one. I mean, the, the wood texture on it is just, it has the right amount of character and patina. This is just a green wood box somebody made with some old trim. And you know me, I love the color. And I could see this with a Kleenex box in it, a plant in it, lots of options. I just sold a huge Bible stack set. I think this one probably would have nested on top really well to that stack. Um, love that it has a cross on it. Love all the wear and tear. And this one has Miss Cecilia Trim Monroe, Wisconsin is written on it. The front page is gone, so who knows what year it is. But the other thing that I picked up from the Picker Nose was this little lunchbox. It is red, blue, gold. There's a little bit of white with the swan and the flowers on top. It's gold and it does say GED on the back, so that's funny. I think this would be perfect for a little display. One, if you collect lunch boxes, and two, if you do some red, white, and blue decor, um, either you know seasonally or all the time, but it, this was definitely very cute. I also picked up this mirror. It is missing a little bit of the molding here, but I still really liked it. They actually had it displayed the other way with this being the bottom, and it's actually ready on the back to hang also, but in the other direction. But to me, I like it better with the arch on top. So what did 6475 get us? All of these goodies. Hey, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing from today's haul was. And of course, I would love if you would click that subscribe button.